tell us what your life was like before you came to Christ. Well, my life was really very depressing, um, very discouraging. Uh, I had no hope. It was a, I was in a really dark, dark place. I was very hateful, very mean. Um, really didn't care about anybody or myself through trial and error. <laughs> um, I was born into the Catholic religion uh -huh. and as learning that about the idols and sacrifices that that wasn't in the Bible. And so I kept searching. Um, uh, as a teenager, I got involved in the born again uh, movement and uh, I got baptized, but I felt I was still missing the mark. I I had no guidance, I had no walk with Jesus, but I was baptized mm -hmm. and I I knew there was something more. I was still searching for something more. And then I went into the military and after the military, I, I became a Jehovah's Witness for over 11 years. And uh, that was a learning process. And I came to find out that I wasn't, um, according to them, I wasn't setting a good example for the other sisters. And um, I just never felt like I was making the mark. I could never, I could never get there to have a relationship with the Lord. Um, then about 10 years went by and through a lot of um, health trials, that I was going through. I went through cancer, divorce, alcoholism, liver cirrhosis. And at that time, I believed that's what um, I was supposed to be going through because I was a bad person. I wasn't good. I couldn't get the mark. I couldn't get to where I was supposed to be. Okay, after my life-threatening situations, um, my daughter and son-in-law uh, moving back to Lompoc, which I didn't want to be. I did not want to come back to Lompoc. Lompoc had a lot of bad memories for me, but they kept inviting me to church. And um, while my, I was recovering really well physically, um, I decided I, I didn't want religion. I, I, I didn't want to associate with religion. So it came to the point where my doctors were so amazed with my recovery of uh, my cirrhosis and everything that was going on in my body. And they even said it, 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 they even asked me, are you a woman of faith? Because this is only through faith. Could this, this be happening? And at that time I wanted, I knew I wanted to give back to the Lord and I didn't know how. And like Jonah, I didn't want to do it, but it was church. And I started attending church, but again, on my own terms, I wasn't going to go with my family. I wanted to go on my own so I could go in and leave right away. I didn't want to associate with anyone. I didn't want to become friends with anyone. I just wanted to go and, and give back to the Lord. And after attending a few years, I the Bible became a alive to me in ways that I could never imagine. And I had the need to be baptized. Uh, and the changes that I've, I started, um, the changes that started happening in my life, I didn't even see them. Other people started seeing them. My family for one, they couldn't believe that I was no longer drinking, that I was actually happy, I was joyful, and at first they thought it was um, just something I was going through and I would revert back to the way I was. And a lot of times it was very, um, uh, not encour what was the word I'm trying to think of? Wasn't encouraging. So um, they would say things like, oh, you just wait till the church really finds out what you're like. and. Um, you, you're going to start drinking again. And, and I was, I, I just knew that they didn't, they didn't know. They just didn't know 
that I didn't need that in my life anymore because mm -hmm. I had, I had hope, I had love, mm -hmm. I had Christ. And um, I, the friends that I did have as I, I started progressing in my faith started to fall mm. aside. Um, they, they couldn't understand um, the change and why I needed it. And that, um, so there are still some friends that I have um, and fa my family is totally on board. Uh, I got to see my son come, come to church. Uh, my daughter's progressing and, and the grandkids and even my son-in-law. <laughs> And um, so that is the change that um, has happened that I, I, I'm starting to appreciate now because I didn't, I didn't notice it while it was happening. But the good things were, that, that happened were um, that um, uh, the drinking, the judging, um, the biggest was um, holding on to animosity. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't, I wasn't doing that anymore. And I was able to open not only my heart, but my home to them. And I have family coming to see me now. And, and it's, it's so refreshing because we're able to sit and talk about the Lord and, mm -hmm. and to share what, what he's done in our lives and how they all ask me, what did you do? How did you do it? And, and, and the answer so now, it's so simple, mm -hmm. is I, I put faith in God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he did the rest. Mm -hmm. So, and not thinking of myself, not thinking of poor me, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and to be thankful for every day. Mm -hmm. And to know that, that the apostles are like us. Yeah. yeah. They're people like us. Uh -huh. They... They weren't perfect. Exactly. They they still needed help. Yeah. Through their whole journey. Yeah. Even walking with Jesus, yeah. they still needed yes. help. They still needed prayer. And so I, I realized there is no mark. It's the way of life. It's hard to explain. Um, it's it's like an opening. Mm -hmm. um, a ray of life. Mm. light mm -hmm. uh an opening to where there's so much more mm -hmm. there's just so much more and i know even for myself mm -hmm. there's so much more this is this is just the beginning mm -hmm. there's there's so much more to learn mm -hmm. and 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 that i'm i'm finding that i i crave mm. um if i miss church even if i see it online mm -hmm. i feel like uh, a meal where I'm not full. I mm. still, I still need a little more. Mm -hmm. I, I still want more. That's awesome. He's giving me acceptance, true love, peace, mm. and joy that I can't explain. Mm. Mm. Uh, and I, I don't want to make it sound like everything's been rainbows for me because there's been a lot of um, tragedies in mm -hmm. still in life because we go through that mm -hmm. and that right there to go through I have him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to show me and help me get through it not not to get around it but to be able to to face it mm -hmm. and go through it and um, and the religion and a relationship are so different. Mm -hmm. I feel I truly have a relationship with the Lord mm -hmm. and I invite anyone mm -hmm. to come and just try the water. 